That's our block. That's our block. He's about like 160 yards out. Can't see him the greatest, but we could definitely take that shot. There's a really cool game that I started to play right before the Hunter Classic came out, and that's called Hunting Unlimited 2010. It's a great game, it's a lot of fun, and it has a ton of nostalgia. So what I want to do is head to the target range here. We're using the 6mm bolt action rifle, which can take down anything from a mule deer all the way up to a grizzly bear. And we're at the target range right now. We're looking at probably, well, let's find out how far that is there. Probably like 100... 50 or something oh wow that's 200 that's 220 yards right there what's the first one 100 yards and 100 yeah 150 yards for the second one let's try and be dead on at 160 yards here i think that's gonna be pretty good if we can get sighted in for that distance right there so let's take out our rifle here now we're using the 4x12 scope here so that look good yeah, perfect shot. Perfect shot right there. 150 yards and we are dead on. Let's try for that 220 yard shot and see if we have any drop. A little bit of drop. Okay, so I think we want to increase our sight just a little bit, which that should actually raise it just a little bit. I kind of want to be a little bit high at 150. That way, if we take a 200 yard shot, it should be pretty much dead on. So that's 150. That should be 220 right there. That should be pretty much right on. Yeah. Perfect shot. Okay. We're all sighted in. Now, we're going to head on out and try and find some nice whitetail bucks and probably some mule deer. So I think we're going to hunt somewhere near the northern Rockies area. I think that should be a good spot. We'll look for some white tail and probably mule deer. Maybe a couple of grizzly bear as well. All right, so we'll have the six millimeter bolt action rifle and I think we'll also grab maybe uh, something, I don't know, something like maybe the recurve, is that good? Yeah, actually, I think we're gonna grab the recurve. That could be fun. And a horse, that should be good. All these collars here, I don't really know if they work too well. I don't remember using them that much, so... Not only that, we'll have... I don't know, we'll grab the grunt and uh, elk. Why, why are we grabbing an elk collar? There's no elk here. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just head out there. Where are we gonna go? Maybe along the river. That looks like a good spot. All right, here we are. Let's head on out there. We'll jump on this horse, gallop around a little bit, and see if we can't find ourselves some nice bucks around the area. I haven't hunted out here in a while, so I really don't know where we should go at this point, but right there, right there, we got, we got action. Ooh, that's a beautiful muley buck. A real beautiful muley buck. That's kind of exactly where we really want to be sighted in for, so we might actually just bust out the six millimeter here and go for a shot. If I can get a perfect broadside shot on that buck. That's a long shot. Got him. All right, let's go over and go get him. Now, he wasn't the biggest buck, but he was a pretty good one. What is that? That's a mule deer. Okay. That's a muley doe. So we're not really interested in her, but still kind of cool. See our second deer here. Let's get over here and pick up our first buck and try and find some white tail. All right, here he lays right here. Beautiful muley buck. I think we should be able to figure out a way to take a picture of it. Yeah, that could work. Something like that. Um, there we go. Much better. I had better tag my animal. Don't worry, we will. Don't worry. So that was a 201 yard shot and we hit him the lung with the six millimeter bolt action rifle. Not bad. All right, now we have two more tags left. Uh, I believe we could take down either a whitetail or a muley. And I do want to reload this thing. Animation's actually pretty cool. And be careful when you get to this water here because it's super, super loud. I already turned on the volume two different times now, so really can't do much about that, but you'll see what I mean in a second. It's like I can hardly even hear myself talking sometimes when I get close to this water. Anyways, we have to cross this river here somehow and get to the other side. 
That's pretty deep. Whoo, we cannot cross there. <laughs> That's pretty deep. We jumped up the melee. There she goes over there. Oh, we're here. We can cross right here. Perfect. So it's actually kind of quiet here. I feel like he should be right over this ridge up here. Right out in this opening. Keep an eye out. The key is you got to see them before. Oh, right there. That is actually... Looks like a bear. It is a bear. About 290 out. We have a tag for a bear as well. That's uh, a little bit past my comfort range though. So we're going to get a little bit closer. I'll take up to 250, but definitely not a 300 yard shot on a bear like that. Uh, that's about like two... Oh, there's two bear. That's a different bear. 220. That's in range. That's definitely in range. We're going for it. Over the heart. That's per a long shot. Perfect shot. He's definitely smoked. And I think he piled up. Whew, that was an awesome shot. Now, the whitetail buck should be around here too somewhere, so we'll keep an eye out for him as well. When I first saw that, I thought, that is definitely not a whitetail. Way too big. But at least we had a tag for a grizzly bear as well. Another grizzly bear taken off there. We could potentially take down this grizzly. But I'd preferably have a whitetail buck. Depending on how big it is. It's really hard to tell if a grizzly bear is going to be big or not. You know what I mean? So, I think we'll just hold off and try and get a nice whitetail buck here. That is an awesome sight. Alright, well, according to this guy, he's a pretty good one. Should have got ourselves a big old boar grizzly bear here. Let's... Wow, awesome shot. That's actually the exit hole right there, so... Beautiful shot. Let's take a really cool picture of this. Yeah, just like that. That's awesome. Whoa, why did it, like, zoom out all of a sudden? That was weird. Let's try that again. It did it again! What the heck? Stop doing that. Zoom in, zoom in. There we go. That'll that work. An awesome sight. That'll work. So that's going to be a 229 yard lung shot. And it is a boar. Check that out. Bottom left right there shows that it is a boar. So the males are boars and the females are sows. So we got ourselves a big old boar with a six millimeter rifle here. Really cool. All right. Sorry about that noise. Let's pick up our bear. And then we have one more tag left. And I hope we can find ourselves a nice white tail buck. See, the only thing about this game is it's very difficult to find animals because you can't actually see tracks, which is cool because, you know, that's kind of the original hunting games. You couldn't find tracks. You have to go out and search. You know, that's hunting, especially in real life. You can't go out and, like, track down a big whitetail buck. Good luck with that. It's never going to happen unless it's second season bow hunting. Then it potentially could happen. Um, we did not hunt a whitetail buck, but, uh... Apparently something did. <laughs> and I think it's guilty because there it is running right over there. Take a look. That's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah, you're the one. Why am I hearing geese? It looks like two bear came over here and took down this white tail buck. Unfortunately, they got to him right before we did, but uh it's not actually a giant, so you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Let's try and find a bigger one. Oh my god, this is not That's good. What it's all about. This is not good. Okay, good. That was a close one. Oh no. Oh no. No. Run that way. Don't come this way. Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. We got two very aggressive grizzly bears coming at us here, and it's not too safe to be around here. Try and get up here, but you can't. Ooh, we're safe. I think we're safe. Actually, it's kind of a beautiful view up here. Take a look at that. There they go. Man, at this point, we're probably going to have to take a spiker down because it's been a while and we're running out of time. We can't get too picky anymore, guys, because I haven't even seen a whitetail yet, except for the one that the bears decided to take down. Okay. Maybe they're on the other side. I guess uh, this spot here is no good. See, we're on the right side right now. We need to get over to the left where all those stands are at. Kind of the same side. Actually, no. That's where the horse was at. I don't know. There should have been whitetail here. There should have been at least one buck here. I don't understand why we can't find a buck. Well, do you guys remember when I said we're going to have to take down a spike if we see one? 
That's basically what we just found here. It's quite a ways out, but uh, it's not very big. This is the first white-tailed deer that we've seen this entire hunt, so I honestly think we might have to take this shot. I don't know. I'd really like to find something a little bigger, but at this point, <laughs> it's the only white-tailed that we've seen besides the one that the grizzly bears took down. <laughs> there we go. Let's zoom in on those babies. Take a look at those antlers. That's going to be like a four corn or a six point. It's hard to tell, but I mean, the antlers barely stick up past the ears there. I don't know, guys. I really don't want to take this shot. <laughs> the fact that I couldn't hardly tell if it was a doe or a buck at first. I think we're going to hold off on this one. Wow, seriously, there's only one small buck over here? This whole area? I guess so. I can't believe what we finally found and I hit the wrong button. Oh, that was a huge buck. <sighs> we just jumped up two really nice white tails. I was recording for about 35 minutes and I haven't even seen anything besides that four corn buck. All of a sudden, right up over this ridge here, we jumped up a massive buck. Two of them, in fact. Well, I can't seem to figure out where that big buck went. He trotted off this way, I know, but like I said before, you can't see tracks in this. Well, you can if you look really, really close, I guess. So we could probably find where he cut through. But it is not easy. Right there. There's a track right there. See that? White tail track going this way. Okay, guys, I think I found him. You're not going to believe this, but it led us right back to the beginning. Right there's our horse. But right there is definitely a white tail. I don't know if it's him or not. Let's stand up. Where'd he go? Oh, there. That's our buck. That's our buck. He's about like 160 yards out. I can't see him the greatest, but we could definitely take that shot. Yeah, we're going to go for it. Let's try and get a little bit closer so I can get off this hill. I do not want to hit that hill. Let's actually crouch. No reason to uh, rush this right now. Remember, we're going to have to hold for kind of the heart because he's super close. He's going to be like 100 yards out. The wind's blowing directly at him though, so we really can't get too much closer. Let's actually stand up here and see if we can't take him. There he is right there. Oh, slow down. Cut your breath. That's a long shot. Smoked him. He's going down. And he's down right there. Just crumbled him. Wow. That was one of the longest hunts that I've had for a whitetail in quite some time. And the fact that it actually led us all the way back to where our horse is here is pretty amazing. We started the hunt right here, took down our first muley buck straight ahead of us, maybe like 200 yards to the north. And then we took down a big old grizzly bear way over there to the west side, looped all the way around, saw that four corn spike horn buck back there, maybe 350 yards. And then just took down this beautiful white tail buck here. I think he's a 10 or a 12 point right here. I'm so pumped. So am I. That makes two of us. Let's take a look at this beautiful white tail. Finally. Wow. That's actually a big old 12 point buck. I do believe. We'll take a really cool picture of him. Uh, I guess that's kind of cool. All right. Maybe we'll try and get one more if I can figure out a way to get behind him a little bit here. I crouch down. How about that? Maybe that'll work. Oh, yeah, that's way better. I like that a lot. Okay, let's go with that. And that's going to be a 138-yard lung shot. It is a whitetail buck, and we got him at 1140 in the morning. All right, guys, let's tag out. Let's pick him up. All right, so we're going to end up with a trophy whitetail buck, 88.32, a trophy grizzly bear, 19.02, 
and a mule deer 92.6 and we have a 100 percent hit ratio so that's pretty cool all right welcome back to our little trophy lodge here and we'll take a look at our white tail buck let's actually go back to the beginning and find that big muley buck we took him at 201 yards out you can see we smoked him right there right in the front shoulder kind of right in the center of that shoulder there and the opposite side actually came out behind the shoulder so that's really cool got him the lungs at 201 yards out and then let's take a look at our grizzly bear that we smoked at uh, 229 yards actually um another perfect shot right in the shoulder there you can see that's the entrance hole and the exit is another right behind the shoulder right there at 229 yards with a six millimeter as well and uh 19.0 i think is a pretty good one not 100 percent sure how big the grizzly bear do get on this but finally a beautiful white tail buck that's actually gonna be the exit hole right there but this is the entrance he was actually trotting it looks like because his front shoulder is up like that but maybe not maybe we took the shot and as we took the shot he reacted to it lifted up his shoulder hit him in the front shoulder at 138 yards there that's the entrance hole and the exit again right behind the front shoulder there beautiful white tail buck that's gonna be how many points is that actually is it gonna say 43 45 okay so it's not gonna say but we can definitely count so let's count here I can get him in a spot where we can see. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be a 12 point buck, guys. 12 point white tail buck. A beautiful white tail buck to start off this hunt right there. Awesome. I really couldn't be happier with the way that turned out. And uh, especially the fact that we passed up that four corn spike horn buck that we saw um, in the very beginning there. You know, it was a good thing we passed him up because we had enough patience and it finally paid off and it led us up to this guy. A beautiful 12 point white tail buck. And I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the welcome back to kind of nostalgia hunting style here. Anyways, I think that's going to be it. I hope you guys learned a lot. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.